Okay, so this is Daniel. <laughs> Say hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a short one of Daniel. And this is his beautiful boat. It's an Explorer, Explorer 52, isn't it? Yes. Um, and uh, it's called Garcia, and it's aluminium, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll just give them a little show around. There's the cockpit. Maybe I'll show you a little bit more of that. I love those doors, they're amazing. So, yeah, it's a beautiful boat. And really, we were interested in looking at this engine. So, I'm going to get down and have a look at it. And if you, Daniel, if you'd like to explain a little bit of what we're looking at. Wow, let me just get down. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wow. Oops. It's stuck on it. That's it. That's the yeah. So look at this engine. There's his generator and all these power points. This is an electric engine. Oh, it's so quiet. It's got the X10. Are they lithium? Yeah, they are, aren't they? That's amazing. And there it is, you see there it's turning the propeller and that's the sound it makes. No big noisy uh, diesel engine or dirty diesel engine, all immaculately clean, running smoothly. And these are all the power points. Wow. A lot of wires. So yeah, I'll just slowly film it so that you can have a good look at how it's set up. There's it over there, you see it's part of the engine. Okay, let's come back out now. Oh, that's brilliant. All right, hold on a minute. <laughs> Do you want to hold that a minute? Just yeah. can, don't, don't point it at me though. <laughs> There we are, thank you. Okay, so do you want to tell us a little bit about the engine, Daniel, when you're ready? Ah, what shall I tell you? I'm, I'm happy with it. <laughs> Especially because it's quiet. Yep. And uh, even if I have to use the generators to fill up the batteries, mm -hmm. they run in for one hour and then batteries are full again and you can again uh, uh, run by engine. I mean, if you have to run on engine because there's no wind, yeah, uh, it consumes much less because the end because the generators are just running on the same optimized uh, speed. Yep, and uh, it's only to produce electricity because everything goes to the lithium battery. Say that again, if you think. Every, uh, all pro production goes in the lithium batteries, and everything. Oh, the lithium uh, the, batteries, the, yeah. The heater, the the stove, the everything is electric. Yeah. And how much power did you say it generates? Uh, did you say eight hundred watts? To, to I, it depends, does it? Ah, uh, if the um, if I say I can produce like eight hundred watt an hour by Does sailing because it, it turns fill up it the, yeah constantly to fill up the batteries oh that's brilliant mm -hmm. and uh, did this boat it comes with an electric engine does it no it's, no uh, the you... fir uh, it's the second one it's the first one of this size uh, the 52 but there's already one existing in uh, Garcia 45 okay uh, yeah because there's a lady on um, women who sail who's got an electric engine fitted in her boat yeah, there are other companies who have uh, boats. Mm. This is from Ocean Vault and Mr. Right. Garcia who started okay. with these two boats. And why did you go for uh, elect an electric engine? Why? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Obvious it's for question. For the future. <laughs> I, I believe that uh, on boats on the future it will be electric because by sailing you can easily produce electricity with the engine. Mm. So I don't believe so much in cars, but I believe it will be that for the boats. autonomy for the for the boats. It will be uh, for sailing boats, especially. And are they more expensive to produce? Not so much more. 
I mean, okay, it's more, it's maybe 80,000 more. It's not so bad, but uh, later on you will sell it. Everything is, uh, uh, everything is inside. I mean, uh, the whole installation is made uh, and electric engines never break. They exist since before uh, diesel engines. No? Yeah. And for the batteries, they say that uh, they will last longer than. Oh, they I will keep the boat. <laughs> yes, yes, probably maybe longer than both of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd like to do that at some point. We'd like to get rid of our diesel engine, take it out, and put an electric engine in there. Um, the only thing was a little bit, uh, yeah, a bit, a bit scary is all this electric installation. Yes, quite, yes, uh, on water. Uh, a lot. Hmm? On water. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, if you see the installation, it's uh, wonderful. They made a wonderful job. And everything is also so much secure. It's protected. <coughs> protected, yes. Yeah, yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Well, thank you very much for showing me that. I mean, you know, I can't, I'm not very technical, so I can't really ask the right questions. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking There's about. There's so much to say, yeah. I mean, it has a lithium battery, it has an engine, the engine can run, it has a, a 40 kilowatt, but a 40 kilowatt you cannot compare to diesel because it's 100%. Uh, 40 kilowatt is... Pure power. No loss, yeah. Yeah. Nothing lost. Uh, no. Uh, it starts very quickly. Uh, so you save a lot of money on fuel, obviously. Oh, yes. So yeah. are you tempted to run the engine m more because you know you're not having to yeah. pay for fuel? No, well, it's not, uh, it's not that, but it's, uh, I mean, it's more clean. Uh, you use it when you are in a hurry. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. When you really want to reach a port or uh, like, uh, I don't know, for to go to Madeira now, uh, if you have to, at the end the uh, wind too much in the wrong on, direction, on the boat. yeah. So uh, maybe we will also uh, use the, the engine or, uh, or the generator, yeah, yeah. And how fast does it go on the engine? Uh, how many cruising knots? Cruising speed is like cruising uh, speed, yeah. Five, six. It depends also on the wind. We I made all all so already eight knots. Uh, yes. <laughs> but uh, then it consumes more, and I have to run the generator more. Otherwise, it, uh, for you know, three, four hours, I can run on uh, on three, four knots. And how many nautical miles have you sailed so far on this boat? Oh. I don't know. We came from Cherbourg to okay. here the, to Arecife directly. Then we went okay. to Puerto Rubicon. We went to Ca Gran Canaria to Tenerife, uh, back to uh, to Rubicon. Uh, now up. I mean, we, we just started on. Yeah. On so the end of probably November. maybe three thousand miles. Do you think? Maybe I don't know. It doesn't really matter, does it? But I'm just thinking what we've done. And we, well, we came from the UK, mind you, so, but you've been, um, we haven't been to Gran Canaria yet, so. No. And how does she sail, Garcia? Uh, yeah, very relaxing. I mean, it's a 20 ton boat. Uh, it goes uh, smooth. And it's just the two of you? Can you sail it just the two of you? Yes. That's brilliant, it's isn't it, for a 52? Alone, huh? Really? But uh, for cooking, uh, some help. Yeah, and <laughs> cleaning and you know maintenance. No, it's possible to do it alone. It has bow and stern thrusters, so also in the port. It's oh, that's possible. really good. Yeah. It's got both. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for the this size, it's all, almost needed. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Well, we'll certainly be uh, keeping an eye out for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to Madeira now, are yes. you? Yeah. Um, okay, so. Um, We'll be going around the Canaries for a while, so are you, what are you doing after Madeira? After Madeira I come back uh, to Canaries. Okay, well we because may as well see you. I have not seen yet uh, uh, Hierro, uh, La, La Palma uh, and Gomera. Yeah, we want to go there, yeah. 
All right, well, thank you very much. I'm just going <laughs> to film your cockpit, okay, okay, Daniel, just so everybody can see what a beautiful boat you've got. Look at these seat this seating. Isn't that lovely? It looks so comfortable. Yeah, so this is Exploration 52, if anybody's got uh, some aspirations of uh, this boat. Um, oh, there's that tender I was telling you about. Very good tenders that they are. Yeah, and so it's got two uh, two helms, massive winches, of course. You can see how it's uh, all the uh, rigging, all the, the lines are coming back to the cockpit. And uh, there's some more rigging there. And then I'll just show you some more there to show you how it's set up. And there's a little seat at the back, which is lovely for enjoying the sail. And it's interesting, this uh, flooring as well. All right, well, I hope I've showed you enough of the boat, guys. There's a bit of the um, thing at the back so that you can stand and get your... Oh, he's got an electric um, engine for his uh, outboard as well, for his tender, rather. And he's got his solar panels and bells so that's brilliant all right well hope you've enjoyed looking at this boat it's called the Garcia and it's an exploration 52 and it's a lovely boat so there you are okay well I'll go now let these people get on because they've got to go all right Bye for now.